It's 99 Jams, Miami's number one for hip-hop and R&B. Heavy hitter, tough guy, DJ and Tice in the building. Your girl, Super Cindy, and live in the studio, we got Nick Cannon. Hey, wildin', 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 familiar. So, yes, Wildin' Out is in town tonight, but we'll get into that in a minute. Okay, We gotta okay. get into some other stuff. Let's get First to it. First of all, can I just give you a high five in the air like from here uh. <laughs> for the mass Singer? You like you a fan? You oh like it? Oh my God. But That's I have some up. behind this. I'm gonna ask you questions because uh, I sit I can't tell you it. who it is. Right. No, <laughs> not who it is because I like to guess yeah, too and I, I like playing the game too. Yeah, absolutely. But last week when Dionne Warwick started singing, you uh, knew that was her because her voice is so distinct. Absolutely. I felt that same way about Shaka Khan too <laughs> and when Gladys Knight was on. Like we know yeah. <laughs> but what's crazy is we know that mm. half of the audience they're like they 20 something millennials yeah. all, they had no idea they were like some old black ladies <laughs> <and I'm> like, <laughs> so I'm like ah, of course you know who that is but then there's some other voices that people knew that I don't know so it's mm-hmm. like it's it's one of those things where I even tell them don't tell me let me figure it out and usually by like the third or fourth episode in my mind I know yeah. who everybody is So, but sometimes I be wrong too hello hey. who has the best track record out of you and the judges Oh, me, of course. But, that, <laughs> but that's just because a lot of times, like, obviously with Wayne, you know what I mean? Right. Wayne, Wayne had told me season one that he was a huge fan of the show because he, oh, you know, and he was like, I guess T-Pain, right? Uh, immediately. And he was like, I should do it. I was like, you would do it? And he was like, man, I love it. My kids love it. So I was like, all right, well, look. I don't. I, I am the producer, but I'm gonna put you in contact with my casting people, mm. and don't tell me nothing else. Let's not talk about so it you ever have again. No control so I of thought, who gets picked yeah, or whatever. It's and a, I thought he was going. And then I'm like, Lil Wayne ain't gonna show up. To do that. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> and then so I thought, if anything, it would have been season two. So I was looking for him for season two. Like he got to be one of these things, and he wasn't there. So I was right. like, oh, he must. He got busy on tour or something mm. like that. And then when he popped up as the robot, I was like, ah, oh, he, <laughs> he really came through. So it's joints like that where. I, of course, I know because I know the people, but yeah. they they keep me out of it too. It's a secret. I love oh. it, and you know one of the things of the mass singer that I want to see live because I know like when you guys record or whatever, it's different. But live, I want to see how you guys really pull off the mask because oh. it's like there's like a, a two oh, thirty yeah. angles. <laughs> nah, you know I'll, I'll give you one of the secrets. <laughs> yes, because. Tell me. To be honest, what they do, especially for some of the women, yeah, you know what I her. mean? Like, it, or even like <laughs> people get emotional too. Like mm-hmm. we go to like in that moment, they don't know that they're about to get voted off. So right. I act like I'm about to take it off. And then we stop for a second and be like, mm-hmm. yo, go gather yourself. You got to oh, do the hair and so makeup, kind. get your hair together. Uh-huh. And then we come. So we take like a five minute break so okay. they can get themselves together. Thank and you, then Nick. we come back and take it <laughs> right. off. So their Thank hair you. is right and all that. So that's I a little appreci- mass singer secret right there. <laughs> I appreciate that. I was like, if I was a mass singer contestant and to pull off the mask I'll be like yeah and it's mad hot in the mask yeah. I could imagine yeah so I could imagine under all the lights everything yeah that, that's the hardest part like some of the best singers they're like yo I've never had to sing covered in a freaking mask before mm-hmm. so it's it's I, I they could never commit to me to do it I would never do that just cause of how <laughs> I see what they go through mm-hmm. I'm like yo y'all some real troopers to do all of that how do you guys record the show like you take like three months or a month to do like back to back episodes it's like, so it weird recorded? because they have such big stars we really have to go off of other people's Their schedules schedule. my, like so it's it's crazy how they do it and of course you know to keep a lot of it a secret they have to be timely but then if somebody has a tour coming up and so it's it's weird how we do it but it ends up working out I love it. So high five about the mass singer. Thank Obviously, you, appreciate you it. Number one show on television. There it is. Like, Talk really about is. it. And we got the mass dancer coming up. What, what? the hell is that? Yeah, it's going to be the same <laughs> thing, but with dancing. So Twerking that's gonna... and stuff? Or nah, ballet? but I mean, think about it. If you think everything from like dancing with the stars to like lip sync battle. Right. Like once huge stars just performing with the mask on, but they don't have to be singers. So that's coming out this summer. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, that's yeah, yeah. dope. Yeah. Yo, you don't stop working. You got the radio show going. Yes, heavy sir. Too. I'm trying to. Get, I'm trying to get in y'all bag. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my bag alone. Well, now nah, you. Know, I've done. I've done. Yeah, you know, strange. Ra- radio. Yeah, radio since like 2010. I've been yeah. doing morning radio. I stepped away from it for a minute, but one of the reasons why I wanted to get back into radio mm. is just because I have my syndicated talk show coming out, mm. and I'm in. I'm doing this at 5 a.m. anyway, prepping yeah. for the show and stuff. So I was like, yo, it makes perfect sense to jump in, and then when you know. The opportunity came up in LA. I was like, "Yo, we going this will be the hub, but we gonna go all over the country with it." So it's 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 that 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 conglomerate, it's that that master plan to, to be the most powerful man in media. I, I 
well, you know Radio Big Mac from Wild and Out and 99 course. Jams has started mornings. Yes. I think you need to speak to him a little bit. <laughs> he ain't and ready for it. the secrets of how you stay awake. Because... <laughs> yeah, let him know how you bounce your time because everything you're doing, man, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I mean, Mac, that's my guy, but yeah. I don't sleep, so it's a little different. I'm pretty hmm. sure he needs his sleep. That's a big dude. <laughs> he be on set sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him and see what he says. So let's talk about what is the update right now with the whole Eminem diss track thing and all that? Yeah. Like, is it dead or is it still I, alive? Or? I don't know. I, I feel like at this point, you know, we had a lot of fun with it during the last season of Wild and Out and when we get back to it, I know we probably, you know, the, the jokes ain't never gonna stop. But I think, I was like, I'm gonna match your energy wherever you at with it. I didn't start it. He came at me. <laughs> wow. I just swing heavy. I, I, you probably know? thought you were gonna stay quiet though, I And think. that's the thing and everybody's like, oh, you better not say nothing about Why not? Ain't nobody scared of him. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's Eminem. Yeah, with 50, ain't nobody scared of 50 either. Like, we just start like, let's go. So, you know, I match energy. So, I mean, however they want to see it but i think i think it, it might have got a little too too intense for them so uh <laughs> well I, he's still welcome on the show and everyone gonna get there i would you know 50 has been on wild and out before he right? hasn't that's the thing we what keep the, telling him to pull up he's king of the jokes king of being petty he's perfect right for it. he'd be perfect for <laughs> it yeah he need to pull up he probably yeah. worried about what you're going to say to him. Yeah, these rappers are sensitive and tight. They are super sensitive. You know, we're going to talk about them teeth. We're going to talk about his fluctuating weight. We're going to talk about all of that. 50 going to get these jokes. Would you ever collaborate now that 50 has become a TV exec? And, oh, I love and what 50's doing. Like, mm -hmm. in a real way, like, all respect... He jumped for in, life. Yo, he jumped into the television game in a real way. Like, I think they got like three or four spinoffs of power mm -hmm. coming out. Right. Yeah. Like, he on his dick wolf. Like, he gonna have shows forever <laughs> yeah. type yeah, thing. Yeah, for so real. I think that, that's brilliant, man. For someone of the culture to really control our narratives, like, that's what I'm all about. So when I see another black man. Do. Yeah, when I see another black man getting like that, we put all the jokes and the hip hop stuff aside, man. I salute him 100% with that. Would you guys ever collaborate, you think, I, on any shows? I, or think, what, I saw him do an interview talking about he would cast me. I'll cast you. <laughs> <laughs> you work on your acting chops. <laughs> Stop talking out the side of your mouth. <laughs> nah, I but love I would love it. to work with Fish. I think we've talked about it in the past. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know... Uh, it's it's a bunch of stuff from get rich or die trying. I was he was actually he was one of the ones that was rooting for me to be in in that film with him. I think I forgot what happened. It was so long ago, mm -hmm. but like he and I did like uh, table reads and all that type of stuff. So I would right. love to get down with it. I think something. the two of you would come up with an amazing TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's real talk. We got. Oh. I mean, I know I got some stuff cooking up in in that world, and obviously he already has his stuff. So I would love to get down with him. Just have, uh, from businessman to businessman, I, I completely respect him. We're on gonna that. manifest that because I think it yeah. would be incredible. First you got to come do Wild and Out and get right. these jokes. That's though. the first step. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk on a, on a sadder note. Um, Pop Pop Smoke, what happened yeah. to him in L.A.? Yeah, that was What tragic. was your reaction when you found out? I mean, anytime you hear anything. I mean, February and just 2020 has been hmm. a tough one for the yeah. culture. Just yeah. and, and we kind of been like, it's been like this dark cloud. So when you hear more bad news, especially like someone who was so young and had mm -hmm. such a bright future, you just like... You, it almost makes you like turn to the rest of the community and be like, all right, we got to fix us right now. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We can't allow this to keep happening and, and really just build up the spirits to operate on a higher frequency. So I was sending love to, you know, his family and, and his love, and especially for it to happen out in L.A. and him from yes. being from New York. It's like right. it doesn't matter where you are. You know what I mean? When when darkness is is, is on you, man, you got you to gotta fight that with with positive spirit. So I just encourage people, man, to just kind of stay prayed up, meditate, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Kind of get, getting your, your bag to where you can operate on the highest frequency. Cause you never, and, and treat each and every day like it is your last day because Hello. you never know what's going to happen. Facts. Yeah. You know, Blueface um, made a comment around the time that the whole situation with Pop Smoke happened, and he said that, you know, people come to L.A., see the palm trees and just put their guard down and think they could be flashing jewelry and just be living that life flashy ways. I what do you think about that whole I L.A. thing? I think that's every city. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like, I move around this country and... You think you you go to certain areas mm -hmm. and then you got to know you just got to know where you are. You got to know your surroundings. That's right. a wise individual to where you just be like, I right, 
I, I know people here. Let me connect with these people. I know I probably shouldn't go over there. Like Miami is the case in go point. Go over the bridge yeah. and you're in another city. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, when you come here, you think you're sweet and palm trees and mm-hmm. stuff. You make that, that wrong move. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> and, it can, and that happens in New York, L.A., yeah, the, yeah. the Bay, Chicago. Chicago is like one of the, like, you go one yeah. area in Chicago, you'll never Beautiful. see a black person. <laughs> like, if you, stay, if you stay downtown, but soon as you cross over, you're on the south side. So it's just like, yeah. you just got to really just know your surroundings anywhere and I don't think anybody is saying like oh I'm a general or you gotta check in with me or anything right. I think mm-hmm. it's probably just words of advice no matter what city you in just make sure you're good and, and try to stay away from negative forces mm-hmm. that part yeah, another seriously. loss that LA suffered was Kobe of mm. course did you personally I think the know world him lost him? yeah the yeah. world lost Kobe yeah. I, I think mm. it hit LA probably the toughest yeah. but I mean I think the, the world actually stopped when we lost Kobe yeah. and his mm. daughter Gigi and I, I think it was so unexpected, and you know that we was... were we were all sad. But then when you s- saw that, you know it was children on that helicopter. Mm-hmm. I think that's where you know as grown men we all just got super emotional. But mm-hmm. someone who did have the opportunity to to know Kobe personally, that that Mamba mentality was real. And mm-hmm. I think the fact that LA picked back up and kept it moving, the, the rest of the world kind of used use that loss as inspiration to to be the best you possibly can. I think we all making them proud with that energy. I love that for real, for real. You think Michael Jordan will be another meme? Oh, uh, the only that meme? reason why because like because it? it definitely has meme potential, <laughs> but right. I think because of where it comes what from, it I think people, people won't, won't go you, in right? on it. They won't because right. like, he had more oh. tears this time. Yeah, he had a lot, but more rightly tears this so because yeah. it was for his little brother. Of so course. I think yeah. people are gonna leave it alone. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the tour going down tonight. Yes, we going up, man. Every time we come down here, man, like we we get nothing but love. So selling out once again. I think they have to add extra seats. So I think there might be a few more seats available. But Hopefully we, there's a seat for me. Yeah, <laughs> we had to add we had to add some extra seats tonight. So you might be able to still get a few. But mm-hmm. it's the thing. We wilding out. You know, we going all the way in. DC Young Fly, Carlos Miller, Big Mac going to fly. He, Radio he, Big yeah, Mac. he didn't know he didn't know if he was gonna be on the show. We make him wait to the very last minute. <laughs> but we gonna definitely put him up there. And then you know it's a it's a rap concert too. We all got always have special guests that you know mm-hmm. pop Word, up. Word you got some show. surprises tonight. That's the absolutely, word. Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna go up. Can I just tell you how much I love the game? Um, what's the game I was just saying I love so much? The the classroom. In the classroom. The classroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I don't think if I could keep up. Like, Wildin' Out truly terrifies me. I don't think I could keep up with Everybody the games. Everybody says that. I'm scared of Wildin' Out, but I like to watch it. So. <laughs> nah, you can definitely handle it. But nah, uh, classroom was something I came up with just remembering, like, being at a school, lunchroom, Beat whatever. Beat, yeah, beating on the desk. And I was like, yo, how dope would it be if we just all just start freestyling and one have to pick it up, you know, where the other one left off? And everybody just snapped to it. And it's one of those ones where, because a lot of time we got to rehearse a bunch of games just mm-hmm. to see where it's going to go. We don't never have to rehearse that. Like, we can do that it. at any moment. And it, it's always is fire. Dope. Yeah, is it usually you that comes up with all the game concepts? Yeah, most of it. I mean, oh. I think I've, I mean, now it's a collective. I, I, I lean to the young guys if they have any ideas and stuff. Mm-hmm. So if anything, if I don't come up with it, I got to structure it. So it's like even uh, I remember Pick Up and Kill It was one that I came in a rehearsal and they had that they had that flow like na 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 and then the mm-hmm. other person would do it and I was like yeah. all right there's something there they was just right. kind of just messing around I was like all right if we split it down to put your team over there their team I'm gonna go make the beat. And then I'm a, I, I, was, I was like, it should be called Pick Up and Kill It and Kill It and Kill It. And everybody's yeah. like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> and then that's how that game was created. So it's like sometimes I'll just take what's ever going on in, in rehearsal and I'll formulate that into a game. And that's how some of the best ones come up. That's nice. incredible. What's the difference between filming while and out with the studio audience live and yeah. being in a live stadium up uh, doing it live. oh the energy in the in the stadiums and the arenas be, it's <laughs> so electric because like it's funny though because i feel like the cats get more nervous in front of the arenas because yeah, like yeah. we at home when we on set so it, anything goes and we it takes us about you know an hour to hour and a half to shoot a show and you only see 20 minutes of it so that's why i look like everything's hitting and everything's so polished you don't get that in the live show you out there for an hour and a half and you mm-hmm. better bring your a game the whole time so we it's a lot more buzzers on on the, on the live show <laughs> and the energy from the crowd is crazy i mean like one uh 
One lady last night just out of nowhere in the middle of the show just started yelling at me, pull your pants up. <laughs> I was like, Yo, all right, I'll pull my pants up when you pull your titties up. <laughs> wow. Pull and, them up, lady. And, and, they, oh, and they went crazy for that. So it's just like stuff like that. Like you don't that you don't know what to expect with that live energy. So we love it. How many more stops do you guys have after um BB and T tonight? Like twenty or something? Yeah, we just we just Hello. getting started. It's just the second night. And I you know, I like to say this is our first night. You know yeah. what I mean? Every night's the first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we probably got about like almost we out here for thirty of them. So wow. yeah, we got we got quite a few. So make sure you head over to the BB and T Center tonight. Nick Cannon, DC Young Fly, Radio Big Mac, yeah. Radio Big Mac, Radio Big Mac. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Justina Valentine, yes. Carlos, all you know, it's gonna be crazy. It's going to be lit. It. And tonight, after party, me and you going to be at live. Let's do it. It's going to be lit. And Tice. Yo, yo, and Tice, that, that Jeep downstairs, man, I'm jealous, man. <laughs> I got a couple of those. I was like, like yo, You can't I have a hundred of them lined no, up. No, but no, your joint is so fly. And then, I don't know if you noticed, I was down, it had a crow was just poached up on it. Oh, yeah, oh, there's wow. a crow. And I was like, yo, I need to get a crow for my shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it looked like it's part of the car. Like, I was like, you got a remote control crow? <laughs> <laughs> I call his car transformer. Yo, that, it looks like yo, it's your about Jeep fired. Right. I got you, one man. too, and I was like, yo, I got to step out. The rope, <laughs> like, I got to get all that on mine. Appreciate you, crazy. bro. That Thank you, man. Love it. Where can everybody follow your movements, Nick? Uh, you know, all things Nick Cannon. At Nick Cannon on IG, Twitter, Facebook. You know any, you know where to see me. NickCannon.com, whatever. We out there. Oh, and one more thing. I yeah. love the way your daughter did that whole TikTok <laughs> oh, singing yeah. like her mom. Yeah, she, <laughs> I love it. My kids in TikTok. Yeah, Hello. Like, yo, they are. They, 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 I just want to be TikTok famous, Dad. <laughs> I don't need to be just real TikTok. famous. <laughs> just TikTok famous. Like, all right, we're going to figure it out now. But they, they are so creative. They impress me with the stuff that they do on there so oh, I mean dope. I was they, they cut from a, a strong cloth so Hello. right <laughs> it both, goes both up. sides <laughs> exactly it goes up <laughs> alright again make sure you go head over to the bb t Center Google it see if you can find tickets I don't know if there's any tickets left but try and get them tonight it's happened wild and out live Nick Cannon in the studio the yeah. afternoon get down Whoop.